What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Still recovering from my hair transplant. Also got a teeth whitening done today, which was nice. I am a, a Frankenstein looking character currently. So on this video, uh, for those of you that haven't seen all the fucking nonsense and slander going around, as I mentioned in some previous videos, Yes, when you go at the throats of 30 fucking losers that are scamming and ripping off the dating niche and dismantle them completely, okay, you're going to get blowback. Okay, I was waiting. Here it is. We have guys faking screenshots. We have guys making fake Reddit posts. They're giving fake awards from fake accounts. We have people coming out of the woodwork and, and sending uh, former, a former coach I fired, okay, which is the main subject of this video, named Ryan Fernandez, okay? He was caught poaching clients. He was caught making up massive amounts of lies to my clients as well. He was basically like, hey, I can coach you on the side. He was helping run my eight-week mentorship program briefly. And he was telling guys that he can coach them on the side for a cheaper rate behind my back. Okay, So he was fired, and I caught him in countless lies. He was telling guys that he invented my system. He invented my products. I have email proof that he didn't even contact me for the first time ever until the beginning of 2019 after my products were already released. He was telling clients that he invented, uh, that he wrote the, pro the content for Max's The Natural. He wrote Jeffy's product, just full fabrications that, that he's in contact with these different people that are in my life that he's never met. And it, and it just went like on and on and on and on and on. Okay. And, it, and I caught him in like 30 different lives. Okay. I fired him. He stole a computer from me. And it was just like a huge fucking mess. Okay. And, and he was trying to like, you know, dissuade clients from continuing to work with me. It was a huge fucking mess. Fired him, cut him out of the company. And then I had screenshot proof, which I'll display up here, where he's like, oh, I'm going to go try to get revenge and like say stuff to CoffeeZilla. And I said to that client, I'm like, there's nothing to expose. There's no fucking bullshit, right? I'm the most legit guy in the game. I have the best system in the game. I have the most proof of that. Okay, it doesn't matter if a little uh, former cab driver from two years ago wants to talk shit and slander and make up a whole bunch of baseless stuff. Facts are facts, and I have more proof than anyone, okay? There's nobody that even holds a candle to my system or to the results I get for clients, okay? But as expected, and as I mentioned, here comes all these fuckers, right? It's just, it's like a huge avalanche of shit, okay, raining down, and, and I'm not going to get into what I'm going to be doing about that in full detail, but this former coach on my team, he's the one that went to CoffeeZilla, okay? I was 95% sure, but after the video's... Uh, that were put out today on uh, our favorite uh, little slanderous man's channel, I, it became apparent, okay, those videos were when I was obviously very drunk and they were from a boot camp tour, okay, the, usually towards the end of the night when things were, were already wrapped up and that was like in the tail end of my drinking before I quit, okay. So, no, those were not my finest moments. That was right before I gave up alcohol. That is not how I was typically acting. And he took a select group of footage, the private stuff, and he tried to give that stuff to CoffeeZilla. He tried to make fake screenshots exposing me and saying I hire escorts and all this other fabricated stuff. And CoffeeZilla did his homework, saw that it was all BS, refused to publish it because I defended it for like two hours to him, showed him how there was holes everywhere, and it was just a bunch of nonsense. But he found a, a, an enemy of mine that would just like to publish whatever comes to him, right? So now we just have... Anyone sending him anything it can be fabricated screenshots, fabricated claims. He publishes all, adds his own bunch of embellishment and his own bunch of twisting on top of it. And everything's just getting released all over. Okay, so it's a huge clusterfuck. And, you know, I'm not going to keep addressing all that stuff. It's just a bunch of nonsense. But just be known to the guys that follow me. You know I'm the most legit in the game. You know that I have the best system. It's very evident in like every single video where I give straightforward practical advice. Okay, my lay count is exact. No, there was not comprised of hookers. Okay, this stuff is just so off the wall; it's ridiculous. Okay, but this coach now has has is he's feeding videos he took from years back in the tail end of my drinking before I quit. Okay, just to you know make a mockery of me some more, which is fine, right? I I'm a big boy. I expected all this to come, and people are slandering as much as they can, and then RSD is jumping on board. We've traced a bunch of these things back. They're helping with fake Reddit posts, and the whole objective is to just bury my name and slander me as much as possible because I'm public enemy number one. Okay, I have a system that works. I get guys good extre extremely fast and extremely consistently, and I also fucking call them all out. Okay, watch any of those scam videos. They're trying to say, oh, all those all those exposed videos and roast videos are lies. Okay, uh, go go look up the facts. I verified all those things before I put them out. I don't slander people. Okay. 
Whereas the, the same cannot be true whatsoever for all the people taking shots at me. So I wanted you guys to be aware, this guy, Ryan Fernandez, who was a disgruntled, jaded employee who had to be fired because he was trying to poach clients and making up massive amounts of lies. Now he's feeding tons of fucking uh, massive lie information, fake screenshots, all this stuff, private videos and stuff taken out of context and stuff that obviously was not in my finest moments. I will admit that. But whatever. Okay, and more is coming. I'm receiving all these emails. Hey, we're, if, if you don't do a public ato- apology, we're going to be exposing stuff every week about you. And we've been in contact with Sonny Arvado and this and that. That's fine. Okay, whoever wants to fucking slander and, and make up whatever, there will be rep- repercussions for that. We'll just put it that way. Okay, so bring it on. Okay, and here's your public apology. All the, all the emails threatening me. Okay, publish whatever you want. I, I encourage it. Okay, I'm, I'm actually rooting for this kind of stuff. It's fun. It's all a bunch of fucking bullshit. Anyone with half a brain can see that most of the stuff is bullshit. I'm going to go back to what I normally do best, giving straightforward, practical, no bullshit advice and taking on all the retards. Okay, and we'll, we'll continue with discussing various things about various retards in the near future. But I want you guys to be rest assured that this was expected and this is the price that I pay if you call it a price, you know, for basically calling these guys out, okay, they all want to bury me. And now anyone that doesn't like me is going to come out of the woodwork because they have a a platform, okay, for for their voice to be heard. So go ahead, come out of the woodwork, you know, expose what you can, send all the fake screenshots that you can. I stand by the fact that nobody holds a candle to my skills. I stand by the fact that I have more proof of that than anyone of my own skills and the results that I get for clients, okay? Someone that bursts onto the scene out of nowhere after driving a cab, copies a whole bunch of people's content and is just a general piece of shit in as many different ways as you can think of, that I don't really care what that person says about me, okay? And he's gonna continue, and I hope he does, and I encourage you to continue. So that's that. I just wanted to address that and expect lots more fun stuff to come in the near future. Where This is just the tip of the iceberg. Um, I expect a whole can of worms to be coming out. So buckle up. It's going to be a fun ride for all.